what up you guys it is sassy assassin here back with another video hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far it is currently may 5th 2024 and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to a foodie bitty related video the first video being plus size try on haul and the second video being tuna sub sandwich chatty book bog so without further ado folks Let's get to. Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a clothing try on haul kind of video. And these are clothes that I got while in Canada from Western plus size clothing stores. So these are clothing that were mostly gifts for my birthday and stuff like that. But I did purchase my own Pennington's clothing, but a lot of them I had to leave behind because they were heavier since I thought I was staying in Canada and it's still cool there. I didn't know for how long and I didn't want the extra weight in my luggage. So I just left it there. You know, I had to leave quite a few things there, but I'll get them another time. So what I mean by Western clothing is just basically clothing that is not made with modesty in mind, you know, like the, the big um, deep V-necks. So basically haram. Okay. Um, short sleeves. So basically, since I have to cover everything except leaving my feet, hands, and face okay. revealed, um, I look for clothing that covers everything. And sometimes that clothing is, you know, I like it and it's harder to find in Canada. So I buy the clothes from Canada because they are cheaper plus size clothing I find there and they have cuter styles in my opinion for my size, uh, you know, like four or five X. You can find bigger clothing here, but I find they do have some cute things. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes they fit different. Um, sometimes they're not made to size. Um, the sizes just feel more comfortable and bigger in Canada. I don't know if it's in my mind, but anyways, so I have to kind of improvise and make my own outfit. But I thought, I thought uh, Kuwait was supposed to be one of the like that have the high obesity rates so you would stand to reason wouldn't they have clothes that would accommodate your size or do you have to special order them at this point because you're lying about being a four to five x it's out of clothing if i do buy it from there especially if it's v-neck short sleeve things like that so uh, i will show you what i do to do that and i will try on the clothing with my modest adaptations but nonetheless you can still make cute ensembles and that's what I aim to do today. So guys, again, let me know which outfit is your favorite in the comments below. And I do appreciate your viewership as always. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, short thumbs up, <laughs> and please subscribe if you'd like to support my channel. So yeah, so let's get to, let's get to. So the first thing I use to make my clothing more modest um, are these articles of clothing here that I got at, um, and is like clothing for like modest clothing store. Um, they have also like Islamic clothing and stuff like that. So here I have a shirt, just a black plain shirt that covers up to the neck and is full sleeve and this is a dress now i wear this a lot like kind of like an underslip dress that again covers you know down to the wrist the neck and everything so it covers everything all right let's get into the outfits okay i i just had a thought like i would you would think that amazon and There'd be some other places in Canada, in the U.S. that would have specialty stores for Muslim women, especially plus size Muslim women. I'm surprised she hasn't like looked into that yet. And by God, why does she look like the Joker here with that smile? It's terrifying. All right. So this is my first outfit so i'm wearing the under dress but i hike it up a bit and put it under my undershirt so that it stays there and it just covers my belly and back this looks like a wintertime pajama set what are you doing bring it over to kuwait in the summer are you insane back area just for the video i don't wear this at home <laughs> it's just for the video and in public but this is the pajama set i bought from pennington's and it's very, very, very cozy. Um, I ordered online before I got to Canada, so they would be there in Canada when I get there and I can just be cozy. And in PJs a lot when I was staying where I was staying. So yeah, I don't know if you guys like the this outfit, but I really like it. I think it's really cool. It's really cozy and it's like thinner material. It's not very hot. And in here we have good AC. So it's not, you know, too hot for me, which I was worried it would be. But the pants, everything, it's so comfy. Yay for pajamas. <laughs> and they were having a sale too. They were having uh, a good sale on pajama tops and bottoms. My guess, she's obviously not going to wear the underslip when nobody else is around, but you can tell that her fupa won't be fully covered 
with this shirt. I know that the the black underslip would cause it to rise up a little bit, but still. So I got a really good deal on this. I don't remember what it is, but it was a good deal. There was a discount, so yeah. All right, next outfit. All right, so here is my next fit. <laughs> As you can see from close up, this is a short sleeve shirt. So I'm wearing this um, blue cardigan that I put over it that I purchased at Pennington's. So I did purchase this and this shirt as well. And I have my underslip dress on, but it is adjusted so that it's just covering everything, not down to my knees. Um, so yes, let's see what it looks like. Now I did get a few pairs of just black comfortable leggings, um, you know, as gifts, but I'm just gonna wear these ones for pretty much almost every outfit. <laughs> um, I do have a pair of jeggings I may try on with some of the shirts, but this is one of the outfits here, this cardigan, which has open slits here. And this is like a t-shirt. And I love the navy stripe. Even without the underslip, that shirt is too small for her. It's not gonna cover her giant gunter. Like, oh my goodness, girl. What size are you buying? Right, I love navy blue. Um, and royal blues i've been really liking them lately so just wearing with some leggings and that's a very comfortable cute outfit you can even pair them with some white sunglasses to match the stripes ha 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 work 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 <laughs> so oh, yeah that was so, this so is cringy outfit number two okay you guys now for another shirt and this was a gift and it is one of my favorite shirts i like how it fits i like the light material but it's kind of like dressy casual so I really like that but as you can see the v-neck is very deep so I have to cover with this but that's fine I think it still looks cute and from afar <laughs> I'm wearing some jeggings these jeggings I've had before for like a couple years now and they haven't worn out or anything they are so comfortable and they're so cool I love them I think I got them at Pennington's <laughs> so um but yeah so this is as you can see I have the underdress slip covering here and around here Cha! <laughs> I also really love the colors I like it. This will actually be really good to wear I don't for summer. Like so, yeah. That's well, why I brought I it. Make sure to bring it. I had to pick and choose, like, what am I going to leave? What am I going to pack? And I was still over by a little bit, but, you know, it was such a hard choice to make. Not easy leaving clothes. Like, I don't know. Like, I honestly feel that. It still wouldn't cover the gun, the guns. I mean, I don't know. She could get away with with wearing it without the slip, but the slip pretty much uh, guarantees that the gun is going to be covered. Behind that are new and that you like. All right, now outfit number four. All right, now for this shirt here. Um, I love it. I love, love the necklace that comes with it, the accent necklace. It's actually too, it's actually too small. So it doesn't really fit. Um, yeah, it's too small around here, around the belly. So up here it fits okay, but around the belly. I wonder, a lot of these are like for colder weather. What are you doing bringing it to Kuwait in the middle of the summer? Oh my God. You're going to overheat in the, in these items. The only thing that I've seen her bring that would remotely, like, count as a summer item, like, clothing, like, is that v-neck striped shirt that does not fit her properly? My god, girl, oh. And I don't, I don't even know, I don't know what to say to this, this is ridiculous. No, it's only a 3X, so... When my mom bought it for me, she said, um, I don't know, I took a chance. I wasn't sure if it would fit properly because um, normally she gets me 4X, but she really liked it. So I guess this will be a weight loss goal when I can fit into this. You know, it'll be a non-scale victory. And yeah, but other than that, I really, really like it. I love the color. I love the material. Um, everything about it is cute. Just doesn't fit, sadly. <laughs> All right. So this next top is a sweater and it goes almost to my neck, but I like the sleeves and I can wear the necklace with another shirt. No problem. So yeah, so it's just a black sweater. And I don't think I need to explain that I find black more slimming. It's just so versatile. It goes with anything, any mood, whatever. You can just wear black, you know? So I have the jeggings on still. I'm just going to keep them on for the rest of the video. But I'm starting to sweat here. 
that's I love clothes shopping. Like, you know, when I would go to Torrid or Pennington's and just have like a few hundred dollars to just blow there, um, I would get tired quickly. And I find that what was cool about Torrid is they had a fan inside the dressing room because they know us big girls get hot and sweaty, <laughs> taking on, putting on, taking off, putting on, taking off, putting on. But anyway, so this is um, another sweater, just black. Ma'am, you were sitting there in your air conditioned fart box and you're sweating. sweater um so yeah again i always have the underslip on just for added protection and added coverage around here so yeah so um just a basic sweater but it's very comfortable good material um i don't remember if this was a gift or if i purchased it i think i purchased it but anyway yeah so that's that all right next outfit so this is the new shirt this one it's a short sleeve oh, okay and another this, summer I item. saw this in my one of my other hauls i got this at center point here in kuwait where they have the most plus size clothing i find but this shirt was a gift and it's a little short for my liking, but again, the underslip fixes that. So I just thought I would combine these two. I don't know if they match, but with a nice navy hijab or something like that, might look okay. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's very casual, light, good for summer, just to go for like a beach walk or to the mall, grocery shopping, whatever. Um, I'm trying not to wear so many abayas in the summer. So, you know, I can have some cute, modest clothing. That's what I'm going for here. That's the goal. I hope I'm achieving. <laughs> so yes. So this is the next outfit. They have normal clothing sections, like Western clothes, you know, like they have the V-necks, everything. They have everything here, but they also have, most of the clothing stores will also have a section for um, Islamic dress or modest dress. And they're, they're sure to be careful about having long sleeves and the V-necks are not usually, you know, it's usually a, a closed neck. And it's usually long like this at the back so that you're covered. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about this dress. This dress, um, you've seen me wear a few times oh, already in videos. I don't like it. And I love it because it's light, airy, and it has that extra layer in between so it's like that black layer so it's not see-through but on the sleeves it is so i wear the underslip and also if you look at the back here my back would be exposed otherwise so that's no bueno but <laughs> i love this dress i find it cute um very summer friendly for here and i just wear my jeggings or leggings under it and we're good to go so yeah so this is <laughs> this is my one of my favorite summer dresses that i've already worn a million times and you're probably gonna see it a million times more because when i like something i wear it a lot but yeah so here we go I could not wear this kind of long sleeve clothing in such heat. I, I couldn't do it. Um, props to all the Muslim women out there and the girlies. Like, seriously. I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> All right, last but certainly not least is this nightgown I love so much. I love the material. I love the designs. It's got cute little moon and stars on it in gold and black. And yeah, it's just a it's just a nightgown, like pajama to wear around the house. <laughs> but it's super comfortable. And I've already worn it a lot. I love nightgowns. I love pajamas. And I love leggings. I love to be comfortable. That's just, you know, <laughs> I don't think I've worn a normal pair of jeans that are not stretchy in a long time because I just don't find them comfortable for my size. I don't know. They make bigger sizes, but I just don't like it. I don't know why, but... <laughs> the same i don't like regular jeans with my this i have i'm a big girl too and I, i'm just even when i was not a big girl i, I i've never you know i've never i i when leggings started becoming a thing i was more inclined to wear leggings i just liked it better um but i don't understand all most of these clothing are for fall and winter like how are you going to survive kuwait with the, the these clothes like you're very sensitive when it comes to temperature i just don't see you be able to do much you, you really don't have appropriate attire <laughs> anyways guys so that is the haul pretty much um unless i'm forgetting some few articles of clothing in the laundry i don't know if i do i'll let you know but so far this is it again i had to leave some things behind and i wish in hindsight you know i wish i could have filmed them first <laughs> the sweaters and that but oh well Anyways, guys, I hope you like this haul, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment what your favorite one is um, in the comments below. I'm very interested to know what you find most flattering, what you like the most. All right. Bye, guys. You know what I would have also done, which would have been smart? Knowing that I would probably go back to Canada maybe certain, you know, a couple times a year, I would bring a winter coat with me okay and like travel with it
like back to Canada, especially if I know if it's going to be like cold and snowy and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh. Or at least a, a, a thick sweater, you know? I don't know. I, I just... Ooh, that triad haul was haram. Now think about that clothing. Maybe the dress, I guess. The, the flowery dress was okay, I guess. But a lot of that was haram. But, you know, Hootie Beauty isn't co too concerned about what's haram or not. But anyways... Let's move on to the next video. What the hell is this? Now uh, we're seeing her tracking her calories. So what has she had so far? Ma'am. You've had, that's your one meal? that day and you spend it on a subway basically and cola and uh chips damn that's a lot that is a lot of a lot of uh calories for for one meal that's a lot damn Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I have Substop. Substop, Substop, not Subway. Use the Subway though, the food is pretty much very much the same. So this is local. Substop. And I have a Kinza Cola from Saudi Arabia. And this is Kuwait brand of chips. We have tomato ketchup. How many calories? Ah, uh, 131 calories for this bag. This, I don't know, I don't care. It seems like a I lot of calories for one bag. <sighs> this is my breakfast slash lunch. I'm just, I'm so tired today, so it's like a PJ day. I love these PJs. Um, oh my gosh. Now I'm experimenting. I got a tuna, 12 inch tuna. Oh, that's a huge chunk of onion. I can't do it. Bismillah. I wanted to try onions on my tuna, but I'm chickening out a bit. Like they don't have to put so many huge chunks. You know what I mean? Anyway. You know, a lot of these book bogs that she's doing, like the multiple book bogs, these this has gotta be for feeders. She she's hard up for money and she's making vi videos for feeders. I I'm thoroughly convinced of this. Growing up, I used to hate onions. I used to pretend I was like allergic, kind of, like just so they wouldn't forget not to put onions. Like, ugh. I'm allergic to onions. I kind of was like a room. I'm allergic to onions and mushroom. I get a rash whenever I eat both of those. It sucks because. You know, but everybody tells me onions are so good. I'm just like, yeah, well, I get a rash, so. Allergic because it would make me gross out. But um, now I'm going to try. So I have a tuna on Italian bread with like tomato, lettuce. It's just like fully loaded mixed cheese, Southwest sauce, um, mayo, salt, pepper. You couldn't just bake yourself a, a tuna sandwich. Um, pickles, lettuce. Let's say lettuce tomato. Let's go yellow. Beauty bite. You have to say beauty bite. It's written there on the screen. It's redundant. Mm. It's not toasted. The bread is soft. Man. And that's good with all those veggies. Usually I just don't get as many veggies, especially not tomato. There's something about tomato and tuna that like gives me the ick, but now I love it. Mmm. <laughs> so a lot of calories though you're gonna get hungry later yeah i don't know the story of substop like how they get away with like transforming the franchise <laughs> i don't know oh 
My pajamas. <laughs> it's just one of them days, you know? Get a Tide pen. That's what I do. Mm. I have Tide pens all over the place. Yummy lunch. Oh, there's an onion coming. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Here it goes. It's not bad. Quite nice. Quite nice, actually. Man, I usually get the Parmesan oregano bread, but... Mmm, bread. I'm a bread sniffer. Oh. Did you say mmm, bread? Oh my god. I sniffed the bread. What? What is the point of this video? Other than seeing her... scarf down a thick stitch dub. Remember people she... like... What you could do is you could just eat the six inch with some chips and then save the second half of it for another meal. I've done that plenty of times. It works. Because then you trick yourself into thinking you're eating two meals. There was this huge, like, controversy where people were claiming that Subway... Subway's had some crazy rumors, like their bread is, like, made up of, like, 65% yoga mats. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they like tested the bread and found that there was like gym mats in it or something. And my brain would go back to those stupid mats with the Velcro in gym class. Another reason to hate gym. Ever since I started working out, I, I love gym. I love work. I love fitness. Another rumor was that the tuna wasn't tuna. I remember, like, some news reporter or someone went, like, to a subway. There was just, like, this, like, kid working there who could give a crap less about what's in the tuna. And they're like, can we go back in, in, in the back and see uh, the can of tuna that's used? And the kid looking confused goes back there and is like it's a can giant can of tuna like sure enough it says like ingredients tuna and like water or something like that i don't know no you would enjoy the meal better and more if you actually slow down enough to eat it and to just take your time it's not going anywhere Like, what else would it be? Maybe some kind of other fish? Who cares? Kind of like imitation crab? Their tuna tastes like every other can of tuna I've ever eaten. <laughs> All tuna tastes the same to me. There's like chunk light tuna and water, skipjack tuna and sunflower oil. I don't even care. Flake light tuna and corn oil. I just buy whatever, whatever's on sale. Very particular about the the kind of tuna that I buy. I like, you know, what is it? The dolphin free, you know, like, um, albacore tuna, I like albacore tuna. I know it's the more expensive, but I just prefer it. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. People outrage over like, but remember the McDonald's chicken nuggets factory? Well, don't don't even. I don't know if it was like on an episode of how it's made, but or if it was just like a random video. But it was like people were like grossed out because they saw that chicken nuggets were made with like a pink sludge, which was the chicken meat. But if you take a chicken breast, okay, I 
Mm, the jalapenos are nice. Have you tried to make your own chicken nuggets? And you put a chicken breast in the food processor, it's gonna look like pink sludge. Yeah, but there's other crap in it, though. Mm. Who knew gym mats were so delicious? <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, so it's just like tuna they mix with mayo, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Doing with your Saturday? Are you having a pajama day? <laughs> we woke up today and looked at each other, and we're both like, <laughs> "Are we gonna go out today? Nah, let's get in PJs and uh, order out for today." <laughs> or Must be nice. Some of us actually have to work for luncheon. Pickles. Subway has good pickles. Sub stop. <laughs> but their food tastes exactly the same. So Amber and Chantel to be the most unrelatable humans on this planet. Like, I swear to God. Mm. Now she's gonna chow down on another one. You could have saved that for yeah, another that's meal. Cheese? Seriously. I have a hard time getting through one at a time. That's what I'm saying. If, if I, you know, I'm gonna get away cheap... And you know, not have to bake anything. Okay, whatever. You know, sometimes we're out, we have lunch, and then we come home and we have dinner. I'm like, okay, well, uh, maybe I'll just get a 12 inch subway and then just, you know, make sure they cut it up in two and, or just get two of the same sandwich and then save one of those sandwiches for dinner, whatever. So I finished watching that series from the first season. I want to watch the second season. Well, I will. I want to watch the second season of Fallout, but it doesn't come out till twenty twenty five. It's not fair. I'm eating the crumbs. <laughs> Fast forward until. The day it, it, it launch the season two launches because I'm so eager to find out what happens next. I'm trying to find another series that's really good. Has anyone seen the Fallout. series Dark? Is it good? Fallout. Or is it like a really slow <laughs> I'm burn? sending subliminal messages. I've seen Stranger Things. I'm looking for something creepy. I've seen. Haunting of Hill House, the Blind Manor. I haven't seen um The Fall of the House of Usher. I don't know if that's good or not. I like the story. By Edgar Allan Poe. I'm surprised she knows that it was for, inspired by Edgar Allan Poe, or it's by Edgar Allan Poe. I tried watching Midnight Mass, but I just can't get into it. Are these series, like, haram? Like, how is she able to watch watch the series? Did they just have a VPN? Is that how they're watching them? It's really hard for me to get into anything these days. I want to start reading, but... I used to be, like, up-to-date on most Stephen King stories that came out. But like, I, I want, he's so prolific. Like how many stories has he come up with since my, I, the last one I've known? Like, I think the last one I knew of 
It was like Mr. Mercedes. Mm. God, slow down. The food isn't going anywhere. Did sleep come out before or after that? That was a good movie. I love how they use the original like soundtrack throughout. Because Pooh Bricks, The Shining, had the best eerie soundtrack. And that's what Stephen King doesn't seem to get when he didn't like um, Kubrick's version, reimagining of it. It's like your made-for-TV one is worse. There's no like creepy, there's nothing notable or remember, like memorable about it, you know? I didn't even know they did a TV version of it. How he didn't like Kubrick's version, I'll never know. I know his son did a good series. Get a, uh, did a good book called N o NOS 4A2. They made a show with uh, Zachary Quinto. That was a good series. I, I wasn't really happy about the last episode, though, like how it, they ended it. But I mean, I, I suppose, I mean, you know, Mr. Manx had to die at some point. <laughs> if you guys know what, what that is, I mean, I, I was just was super obsessed with that show back in the day when, you know, when it first came out. I heard that he didn't like how Kubrick made Jack Torrance the main character. Pretty much a villain right from the beginning. And, you know, the made-for-TV one made him made it more made it seem more like the place possessed Jack. Here's the thing. That's the whole that's the whole thing. Like that's the whole point. The fact that Jack was already he was the perfect victim for possession from the, the Overlook Hotel because he already had that broken character which allowed the evil in. You know what I mean? He, he, King even wrote that in his on writing book uh, when he was talking about haunted houses. You know, he said haunted houses are like batteries. They're a psychic vehicle. They're batteries. People who are already open and vulnerable to possession because of their, their mental health uh, issues or their, their dark past, stuff like that. Just like, um, just like the haunting of Hillary. Then you should go into your, any haunted houses, Chantal, because you are ripe for the picking. Ripe for the picking. You had the main character who arrived there and was the perfect victim because of her mental state. Same thing with Jack Torrance, you know? And the act. Was it Shelly? Was she like the, the mob? Didn't she have like a really hard time? Uh, it was like actually traumatized from playing that role. I, th I think it's Shelley Duvall, right? Am I right? If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I have only seen that movie like once or twice. But slow down. <clears throat> But I was bored with the made-for-TV. I couldn't even watch it. It's so boring. But the book was good. But I actually liked Kubrick's story more. <laughs> you ever wonder if Stephen King deep down knew that Kubrick's story was a bit better than his? And he, that's why he didn't like it? Excuse me? No diss Stephen King like that. Anyway. Yeah. Alright. That's it. Breakfast and lunch in one. <laughs> and now, I have this huge bottle of water that I'm gonna finish in throughout the next maybe two hours. <clears throat> just enjoy the day. I'm not ashamed to admit I enjoy these days. Pajama party days. <laughs> That's 
pretty much what seems to be your life as of late. Just use hanging around in your pajamas. Look, I'm all for put for a PJ day, but like seriously, this is your entire life. You just get in your pajamas, turning on the camera with a bunch of food and just talking about nonsense while you shovel down the copious amounts of food that you're eating. That's it. That's your life under nutshell. Yes. It's actually cold in here. I do it on purpose, though. I love being cold. I put the AC... You hear it clicking? <laughs> I put the central air on, like, 17, and I just love being cozy in, like, warm pajamas or blankets. We have crisp, fresh new sheets on the bed right now. I did all the laundry. We don't have really any housework to do right now. Maybe rearrange those pillows. So, yeah, it's these little moments I... I... <clears throat> I appreciate, you know? Yeah, these little moments of, like, comfort, happiness, you know? And I'm just gonna uh, enjoy the day with my husband and my cats and mm -hmm. Howie! <laughs> he was so excited, I gotta film him. Okay, we'll do a Howie extravaganza one day, one of these days. <laughs> we even still alive? <laughs> He's so happy when I bring him his cucumbers. Anyway. Alright guys, so thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Enjoy your weekend! Oh, that was ridiculous. That... Why did I even sit back and react to both of those videos? I'll never know. But anyways, that is it for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.